A portion of the new Adirondack Rail Trail running between Lake Placid and Saranac Lake has opened to winter traffic, including snowmobiles, cross-country skiers, fat bikes, and snowshoers. The state broke ground on the rail trail in October, and the first phase of the 34-mile multi-use trail is scheduled to be completed by this coming fall at a cost of about $8 million. Work on phases two and three between Saranac Lake and Tupper Lake will finish up in 2025. And while work on the multi-use rail trail is moving ahead, so too are plans on using the rest of that rail corridor to once again bring passenger trains and tourists to the heart of the Adirondacks. Our Jack LaDuke shows us. Travelers recently stepped off the Adirondack tourist train from Utica, saying it was more than an enjoyable 100-mile ride. The conductors sang, played guitar, nice music. The staff was wonderful. How were the rails? Smooth. The cars were very, very nice. Did you eat on the train? I sure did. I had a sausage breakfast sandwich, which was out of this world. Gourmet. Five stars. Jim Ellis of Tupper Lake has been an advocate of the tourist train for some time. People have to get rid of this idea that we're a scheduled railroad where you walk up to the, the ticket booth and say, I want to go visit my aunt in Utica, New York. It's not going to be that kind of train. It's a tour train. It's We're selling tours and tour packages. So we're planning on working up with, uh, working out with people like the Wild Center, the Adirondack Museum in Blue Mountain, a lot of our backcountry people that uh, do backcountry guiding. Ellis said that next summer they should have a schedule worked out, but there is still more work to do at the rail station in Tupper Lake. Entrepreneur Betsy Lowell plans to build a hotel in the future, serving some of the train passengers. I knew we needed a bigger footprint for a hotel, so I ended up buying six more small properties over several years, and uh, and I've got some, and we've developed sort of a business plan for the hotel, which is way over my head, but we've got some good people helping us. I think the organization has to evaluate today's performance. Uh, it has to evaluate what Tupper Lake can offer the passengers that arrive from Pandera and, and Utica and other points of interest. So this is something that um, uh, over the course of winter, I'm sure the management of the Adirondack Scenic Railroad will work on this. Uh, and here again, I just want to point out that even though volunteer conductors and engineers are still required by federal law only to be able to work up no more than 12 hours on a, on a, on a day of operation. A round trip takes about nine hours to complete. That leaves little time for the tourists to explore the Tupper Lake area. That will be one of the problems that the Scenic Line Railroad will work out this winter so that next summer the public will have a schedule to choose from. During the struggle for the rights to use the train corridor, one group wanted the tracks removed between Remsen and Lake Placid, replacing them with a rail trail cycling path. That attempt failed. In the meantime, a pro-train group held a large rally to keep the rails in place. It too struck out. After years of toil, all parties had some of what they were fighting for. Rails to run a train on, a cycling rail trail, and the sound of a train whistle pulling into the Tupper Lake station. For Mountain Lake Journal, I'm Jack LaDuke in Tupper Lake. Jack LaDuke's Adirondack Journal on Mountain Lake PBS is made possible with support by Northline Utilities.